My song, like takes, my song takes like about a minute to play. I'm gonna let it play what's yeah. going on. Okay. Just go center stage. WBC called and said that Simon Marcus had pulled out of the fight with Artem Levin and offered me the opportunity to get my belt back. They said the fight would be in Bangkok, Thailand and I would be staying at Vertex Pattaya. Oh, my name is, uh, Thai name is Banjong Mutsala Kamwong and my English name is Philip, Philip Wong. I'm the owner of Vertex uh, organization. Well, I start uh, the camp, Muay Thai, uh, Muay Thai camp, uh, nearly 42 years ago. Well, when I first started, when I said Muay Thai, no, 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 no one knows what is Muay Thai. I said, Muay Thai, what is Muay Thai? I said, well, with kick, with, you know, elbow, knee. Said, oh, kickboxing. They said kickboxing. I said, no, 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 it's not kickboxing, it's Muay Thai. But now, I don't have to explain. You said Muay Thai, everyone know what is it? Muay Thai is from Thailand and everyone know what is Muay Thai. Not like before. You have to try to explain it very difficultly to let people understand what is Muay Thai. That, that is quite a lot of uh, improvement for this, uh, the last 10 years. My dad started textile. So my dad called fair textile. Fair, fair, you know? Fair textile. So when I came back from America, of course I have my dad in his textile business. But you know, Muay Thai is always my passion. So when I use, of course, we also have apparel then. So I want uh, people to know more about Vatex. So I use my dad, you know, uh, company name Vatex to apply into my Muay Thai, you know, division. So that, that's why the, the main reason is that is from our family and then. I want this name to be popular, so I choose this name. Yeah, was your dad was your dad happy with that? Oh well, he, he doesn't happy that I'm doing Muay Thai because my dad is very uh, critical Chinese, you know, old fashioned. He's very unhappy, but but right now he is he's, he's okay. <laughs> Trying to cut weight. Do a couple rounds with Rambo. Hopefully, uh, he won't push me too hard. I'm a little sore. Well, by a little, I'm real fucking sore. I'm tired. Can you tell I'm just him gonna that? relax and hit pads. Gonna okay. elbow, sweat a little bit. Okay. Beautiful day. You know, people can talk shit about Fairtex all they want. It's super comfortable. Yeah. Trainers are nice guys. You know, it's great. I really like it a lot.
Cool, I'm just, you know, I lost 12 pounds of water yesterday. I'm still getting used to the, uh, the altitude and the climate. I mean, you really can't prepare for it. I was in great shape when I left in the last two days working with Rambo. I mean, he's pushing me a lot on the pad work, but I'm in better shape than this. It's just, uh, you know, the dehydration and the, uh, you know, the altitude, the climate, it just takes about, they say it takes about three or four days to, to adjust and your third day is the worst. Today's my third day, so. Uh, Rambo's pushing me hard. I'm not a big kicker. Everybody knows I'm not a big kicker. Rambo holds a lot of kicks, so I'm kind of tired. The way he holds the punches, I know he's, he's trying to work me cardio-wise, but we just don't have the same timing. That makes you think a little more, which makes you a little more tired, so. My pad work looks like shit. I'm sure a lot of these fighters aren't very impressed. It's fine to me. I'm gonna whip some ass on Saturday. Can't stop crazy. Majority of the time I was in Thailand. You know, we were, uh, got there about uh, five days before the fight, and it was just all about cutting weight at that point. Uh, you know, with my rib being injured, uh, there wasn't a whole lot else we could do. So it was pretty much just uh, running and uh, cutting weight. That was my training for this. That was my training camp for this fight. You know, so I got to be 79. It's actually not bad for me. Last yeah. fight, last fight I was two. It was 195 today, and then I had to make 174. I made 74, and I overhydrated. I got in the ring at 204. Third round, and no fucking energy. So Thailand yeah, helped out a lot. But, you know, I'm getting older. I just keep the weight sticking. Growing, yeah. You started at a much lighter weight. Yeah, right? I, I was uh, at 16. I was fighting at 76 kilos. Yeah. I'm 35 now. Right. Right. I'm now five. Now just, I, I reckon I put on about two kilos a year. Right. It's kind of where I'm Yeah. Maybe yeah. not quite that much. But it's close. Yeah. I just turned 28. So uh, yeah. you know, when I was 25, it was easy. Yeah. The diet and the weight drop. Now it's, that's what it is. But start to think about going up in weight. Yeah. Cutting hard. You know? I've got about a kilo and a half to do. Yeah. <laughs> I've had breakfast, everything. So yeah. probably this afternoon I'll start to think about it. You know. Yeah. Just cut down, I'll just probably have no carbs tonight and then I won't eat tomorrow, no water and I'll be right. fine. Yeah, the climate really helps. Yeah, it's easy. A little bit of shadow boxing tonight, drop a bit off. Yeah. Awesome. Good luck with that, thanks brother, you too. What's happening, Joe? Uh, I'm soaking my calves and my feet in ice, ice water. This calves have been really tight from all the jogging and trying to cut the weight. I got one more day, I need to be able to move around and shit. And uh, caps are real tight, so we're gonna try and do a little ice bath, get rid of the lactic acids, so won't be so sore. I don't wanna be slow on my feet because my caps are sore when the fight comes. So, two days away from the fight, weight cut's going good. I'm 180 this morning, so five pounds to go, About 24 hours to do it. It's good.
that bike. Half hour. I can go another half hour on that bike. Please. But then I'm gonna drink. Half hour on the bike and lost one bottle. No, I had put on weight since then. Uh, I mean, there's one on the bike right now. Yo, you sound like being yacht popular. But I had went up since, since I was 80. I went up. You went up. I drank a coconut. I drank some of the. I drank some of the water with the Pedialyte in it when I went up to the room. I ate uh, uh, the, uh, two bananas. I ate uh, a cup of that. Uh, yogurt, all that shit out of Today's uh, Wednesday, right? Thursday. Thursday. Today's Thursday. Tomorrow's the weigh-in, tomorrow morning. I uh, just haven't been having a great time, you know. Uh, I couldn't say enough good things about this camp and Fairtex and, uh, you know, uh, Rambo's been training me hard. He's a real cool guy. Ted, the manager here, Philip Wong, everybody's been real great. Um, you know, couldn't be more comfortable. The weight cut's been fantastic. You know, this time, this time uh, for the last fight, I was still about 18, 19, 20 pounds, 20 pounds away from uh, 24 hours for the weigh-in, which uh, really affected my my energy in the third round. And, uh, you know, right now I'm 180. I still have what. 18 hours before the weigh-in, and uh, five pounds out. Feel good, feel strong, feel really focused. You know, uh, feel ready for this fight. You know, uh, you know all the inside the fights, and you know some of the things I said kind of got taken out of context because you can't hear the questions being asked. You know, uh, so it sounds like I'm I'm talking a lot of shit. But uh, you know, I break it down for you. All I've really ever asked for is you know what I've earned. And, uh, Get the opportunity to represent my country and uh, fight, you know, test myself against top guys in the world. And you know, this experience has been fantastic. I'm really looking forward to the fight. I feel really ready. You know, uh, Fabio Pinkus here, Yatsikai, Yetskin, fucking the who's who is here, and uh, you know, it's it's a real honor being in this position. And you know, I'm really excited and you know, thankful for the opportunity. Um, this is my test. This is what I asked for, and we'll see what happens. You know. Uh, one loser draw, I'm getting down on Saturday and uh, I'm going to represent myself, my team, and hopefully my country and best of my ability. He's real chill, man. Everyone's real, real cool. You know, Steve McKinnon was a fucking real nice guy. Uh, Fabio Pico is a nice guy. Yachty Kalai is quiet, but he's real humble. <laughs> he's cool dude. Trainers, coaches, you know, my opponent, everyone's been real cool. Yeah, it's a little awkward seeing your opponent like every fucking hour. You go down to the lobby, there he is. It's hard to mad dog somebody. You keep seeing him over and over. Yeah. Like, ah. What's up, man? How you doing? Uh, I'm sure, he's, you know, he comes from Golden Glory. Golden Glory is no joke. It's a top team. Uh, he's very well respected in the world, and they bring out you know, tough guys. I'm sure he's a really tough guy. He's definitely a tall guy, and uh, it's gonna be a good scrap. It's gonna be a good test for me. And you know, I'm fucking excited. I'm excited. I feel great. I feel great. Oh, I just want to thank everybody that you know just continue to support me. Really, it's overwhelming. You know, not just in LA, but all over the country. You know, you guys. It's shocking to me, um, and it really helps motivate me to keep doing what I'm doing and keep uh, you know, pushing it to the next level. Your guys' support and gratitude for what I'm doing is, is fantastic, and uh, you know, what you're doing for you know, making those donations you know, to uh, help bring Jeff out here to film this, to expose this to the world, and you know, to the United States to help support growers. It's just fantastic. I can't thank you guys enough. You know, my training partners, I'll do another vlog later and thank all you guys individually. But, you know, everybody, um, I'm pumped up, I feel great. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do me, as Kevin can tell me to do. I'm gonna do me. time is it, Jim? Yeah, I'll just cover up the bundle up this fucking one. Yeah. I'm not sweating it. I can spit three pounds. Any other weight cut, you'd be happy as fuck right now that I'm only three pounds away going in bed the night before. Except last one scared the shit out of everybody so bad. Well, usually we have until like five o'clock. So it's fucking, they go to bed and start like a whole day. Right. They cut the weight, now you have two hours in the morning.
Well, he's trying to do, do his job. He just cares. Everybody's here just to help you out. Yeah. I'm not a nagger. I'm used to just giving the stern look. Go check the weight. Go and get the weight. It's early in the morning, that's why. We did the jog to the walking street and then Stay with them. 
and we shut them down because we can't. We fight our way back. This is your time. You were meant to be here tonight. I'll tell you this, in any fight, it's the guy who's willing to die who's going to win that itch because he knows you're going to do the same for him. Now, I can't do it for you. I'm too old. This is your time. That's what you've earned here tonight. Now go out there and take it.